The mural is entitled Who We Are, and that's based on a prompt I got from the museum staff. For me, it was a challenging project because they had asked about an idea of showing pictures of something that represented who we were as a people, who we are as a, po as a population of the Texas Panhandle. And I loved kind of responding to the space of the museum. A lot of us have been coming to this museum since we were a little kid, and so we have relationships with things in this space. One of the things I have a relationship with is a painting called Early Washburn up in the galleries by an artist named Ignaz Sahula Dick. Uh, but I love the way this painting is made. I love the lighting of the painting. The painting has a morning aesthetic to it, meaning it's either sunrise or sunset. So I like that idea of a new day, uh, this new thing. And so we get to kind of consider who we are in this new world. And so I found that mural as a starting point. Uh, and so I kind of incorporated the colors from that painting in as the base for this mural here. Uh, the next thing that I kind of used as an idea was circles, but you can walk through the museum and see circles all over the place. Some of the presentation formats, some of the original amoeba of the region. So the circles felt very comfortable for me and it became a connecting factor to really develop this idea of who we are. The next step was to send students and me all over the museum for several months prowling around trying to take pictures of circles. And I never really found a composition that worked for me, meaning I couldn't get pictures to fit into this idea. And so when I kind of hit a wall with art projects, one of my things to do is to go to art history. And if we think about circles, one of the most famous stories of art history is a story about Giotto and the Arena Chapel, or what's known as the Scrovini Chapel in Padua, Italy. The story goes that he got the gig, Giotto got the gig from Pope Benefice the Eighth, if I'm not mistaken, because he was able to draw a perfect circle. I really began to think about another project here locally that's also influential on me, which is the St. Mary's Church in Umbarger, Texas. In the 40s during World War II, Hereford, Texas was had a Italian prisoner of war internment camp, meaning that anybody they captured in Italy, they sent to Texas. Texas had lots of these camps all over, and there happened to be one right down the road. During that time, they were building a cathedral, or they were working on a cathedral in Umbarger, Texas, which is about 10 miles away from Hereford, and they discovered one of the prisoners in the camp was an Italian fresco painter, somebody who had actually worked on these chapels, and fed him and some of his workers to come over and work on this mural. But then I kind of took it a step farther and realized there's another very famous art-related internment camp in Texas. Uh, the Chinati Institute in Marfa, Texas, uh, was founded by Donald Judd in the 1970s, and it was actually a German uh, internment camp. And there is three barns housing a piece by Donald Judd called 100 Steel Boxes, which are these boxes of different arrangements of stainless steel in the space. But it was looking at these pieces by Donald Judd that really helped me think about what minimalism is supposed to do. And I remember very clearly looking at these boxes and seeing my own reflection in it, and that really gave me this idea of what minimalism does. To me, that's the point of art, is that you begin to think about something and start to consider it. And so, to me, minimalism works as a mirror because whatever you put into the work is what you bring with yourself. And so this minimalism aesthetic allowed me to integrate the viewer's opinion of the mural because I want the people to come in, see the title of the mural and go, who we are, what is this about? And they start that internal dialogue. That really responded to me. To pay homage to the Donald Judd pieces that really helped me understand that, I decided to make the paint in this piece metallic, shiny, reflective, because I want it to kind of shine onto the people. I want people to be able to see their reflections in it. The choice to use the metallic paint allowed the brushwork to show, and I didn't really paint on this. I may have painted a little bit on this, but I really wanted my students to be in charge of that. It does clue in that this painting wasn't made just by one person. There's more to it. Also, the fact that it'll have the lights on it allows the viewers to be integrated. So I feel by being able to integrate the hand of my student and the viewers that this piece really matches to that idea that I started with, which is who we are, because everyone is sort of part of this mural and we're all connected just like the circles that connect within the design itself.